You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah, I am. Um, let's exercise these properties of exponents to simplify. Simplify these expressions. Oh, oh yeah. I got um one, two, three, um four, and five examples set up here. All of them touching a little bit on something a little different. Let's take care of that first one. Yeah. Gotta keep these short, so we gotta move on through. I'm over here, man. Do I have the same base? Yes. Am I multiplying? Yes. If you got the same base and you're multiplying, what are you gonna do to their exponents? Add them. We're using the second one. Oh, boy. So then, this is x to the two plus five, or x to the seven. Right, what are we doing? We're exercising some of our properties. Where can we find the development of these properties in the video for developmental of development of exponent properties? A box and a flower. I'm done, I'm done, and I'm on to the next one. Yeah, I'm looking at this one, man. Are those parentheses necessary? No, right? All right, so I can get rid of them. This is five y's to the fourth times three y's. I can commute those guys. And this could be five times three times y to the fourth times y. Now I'm putting in a lot of steps here, right? Why? So I want you to see where they're coming from. What's five times three? 15. What's uh, y to the fourth times y to the first? Hey, I got the same base and I'm multiplying. What do I do to their exponents? Adam. What's four and one? To the fifth. And then what? Yeah. A box. And a flower. So yeah, you multiply the numbers in front, you add the exponents up top. And then I'm down here. This one's a fun one, a tough one. What could we do? We could expand it out. Hmm, sounds all right. But take a look at this. I wanna do this, and I wanna do that. Good stuff? Here I got a product raised to a power. You get a B, you get a B. It's like Oprah was here. Yeah, I have a quotient raised to a power. You get a B, you get a B. Hmm. So let's go ahead, let's do that. Let's use the quotient one first minus 2xy squared divided by z to the fifth squared. Sure. Now let's do this. Let's do this. Bam, bam, bam. You get a 2. You get a 2. So then, I like to use parentheses here. This is minus 2 squared x squared y all over. Uh oh. Down there I got power raised to a power, so I multiply. Here it is. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a power raised to a power, and I multiply. So then this is z to z ten. Yeah. But wait, there's more. I'm almost done. Now which one is this? Is this two or is this minus two? That's two, because the minus is in the parentheses. So then here we go. This is four x squared, y squared, all over, z, so z tenth. And you're done. Box it and grow some. Ah, another one and another one. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line. I'm drawing the line right here because I want to get on to this next one. Oh boy, let's simplify this. It's a bit of an order of operations problem. What's uh, seven squared? 49, fine, because that's seven times seven. Now this one, oh, oh. Take care of the exponent first. What's seven to the zero power? Anything to the zero power is one. So this is minus one. The zero is only on the seven, it's not on the minus seven. Okay, down here it was on the minus 2. Here it's only on the 7. Finish it. 
49 minus 1? 48. Great. And then, we do a box and a flower. But wait, there's more. What happens when we get to this monstrosity? Um, oh boy, take a look at this. I can isolate these guys and make them their own fractions. Um, and then here we got um, that guy. The same base and we're dividing, so we subtract their exponents. But here's how I see it. I got my two there. There's three good guys and one bad guy. They fight! And who's left? Yeah. The good guys, right? They win because there's three of them over one of them. We can line them up, fight them. That'd be fun. Um, here I got two Y's on top, one Y on bottom. Who wins? The top or the bottom? The top wins. And how many do they win by? They win by one. Oh, sure. Z over Z? Hmm. What's that? Yeah. Huh. Five over five? One. A million over a million? One. This is one. So I'm not even going to write it because I'm done. A box. And a flower.